Here's a video I promised to make. Uh, I mentioned it on my blog and uh, I'm going to do that now. What we've got here is a very old brass and wooden barreled telescope. Uh, this is a very old design. I do not know how old this particular telescope is. My guess is the 1830s, possibly the 1820s. Uh, this is very different from the uh, type of telescopes that you will find during the second half of the 19th century, uh, during the early 20th century. Uh, this is a com not a completely different design, it's just it's got features on it which uh, later telescopes don't have. Uh, I'll point out some of them now. But first, just pull it open. Let's have a look at it. So, there we go. It's about three feet long. Um, 35 inches, I think. Okay, a bit under three feet. So, what are these features? Well... Uh, first you have the lens cap here, take that off, and you've got the uh, objective lens behind. Uh, but one thing that you will not find on later telescopes is this feature here, which is the uh, sliding lens shutter, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I've heard these being called guillotine shutters. Uh, for obvious reasons, it looks like a uh, French guillotine snapping down like that. Uh, basically, this is so that if you were at sea and there was a lot of rain, and the, or if there was uh, um, heavy seas and there was a lot of uh, spray coming up over the side of the ship, um, you could still use your telescope. And the point of the shield here is to stop the rain getting onto the lens. Um, it will fall past the lens, but it will not fall onto the lens. Uh, so that stops the uh, vision that you see down the telescope from getting uh, blurred or cloudy uh, with raindrops. Now, at the other end, we have a similar uh, shutter which pops up like that and closes the same way and that's just uh, screwed on now I'll just pop that there and I will unscrew this and I'll show you just what I mean by how different this is you'll see here that we've got a uh, quite small um, eyepiece lens here and uh, on later telescopes, this would be flush. This would be, it wouldn't stick up like this. It would be right down here. And uh, it would also be uh, much, uh, much larger. Um, let's see if I can pull this out. It's a bit, this is quite stiff. I mean, this thing is about 100 and something years old. Come on. No, doesn't want to come. But basically, if I pull this out, um, oh no, here we. No, no, it doesn't want to come. Uh, basically, at the other end of this is. Oh no, here we go. At the other end of this, we have the other lens, and you'll see that that is much larger. Um, you know, you compare this with this. Um, this vast difference in size between uh, the eyepiece lenses is something that you won't see in uh, in telescopes from the second half of the Victorian era um, or the second half of the 19th century. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, quite different. Um, but the basic assembly is still the same. I mean... Even in laser telescopes, you still have the eyepiece cartridge, and it still slides in just like this. 
and that just pops in there like that. Then this goes down there and then this just screws on like that. Like so. And then of course if you uh, unscrew the telescope here, there are two more lenses inside here. Uh, which are the Erector lens cartridge to flip the image the right way around. Uh, if you did not have this here, the magnification would not be as strong, uh, not be as clear, and the image would be upside down, uh, which is of no use to anybody. So, yeah, there we have it. This is a uh, late Georgian, possibly early Victorian... Uh, naval or maritime telescope from about 1825, 1830 I would say uh, 1840 at the latest um, from all the research I've done I, I have really not seen one of these which was dated after 1850 uh, most of the ones I've seen of this specific style come from the late 18th, uh, late 18th century up to about the uh, mm, first third of the 19th century, and that's about it. So there we go. Uh, if you want to read the uh, blog posting which I did uh, on this telescope, then um, if you're on my blog, then uh, just scroll down. Uh, Otherwise, I will leave a link to it in the description below. Thank you uh, very much for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoy uh, all the stuff which I have on my blog as well. Thank you very much.